Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome at your gaming and welcome at Nordroof 112 the Feuerwehr Simulation, or as the English title goes, uh, Emergency Call 112 the Firefighter Simulator. This game is in English, though the title still is in German for some reason. There are other things they didn't translate yet. But the game has been released today and I must say I've been waiting for this game for a long time. I was waiting for it to be released last year, exactly a year ago it would be released in August I believe that was pushed to November, then it was pushed to March. Anyway, a year later the game is finally released and we're gonna jump in right now. I've been playing a little bit, uh, I had some issues recording before so... I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, there are some bugs, uh, like for some reason some missions just won't end, but it's still a great game. I really enjoy it. The uh, immersion is really great. You play as the fire brigades of a German city and you aren't the only guy. We have some other simulators, fire simulators on Steam, but they always have you be the only guy, you do all the work, blah blah blah. And on top of that, they don't really look that great. Uh, this one looks great. The fire, mm, it, it's kind of a taste if you like it or not, but it's simulated better. It does spread around, the developer says, so that's cool. Uh, anyway, let's dive in. Uh, what I was about to say is you can play as uh, whatever role you want. You, you just uh, select your role, but even during missions, as you can see when I press F1, you can switch to whoever. Uh, you can be a, a leader, squad leader, uh, overall commander or just one guy doing one specific duty. Um, I'm going for that last one because I'm not familiar enough yet with how things go. Um, I'm gonna turn up the sound a bit. It's a bit on the low side. There we go. So we're gonna wait for a co-op. Um, I do have a question for my viewers because I'm a bit confused when they call me up. Because you see an allocated vehicle TLF 124.2. I have no idea what vehicle it is other than when I see people running it. I believe this is 124 something something. But there is no indication whatsoever what vehicle is what. And that's a shame. Anyway, talking about vehicles, let's have a closer look, shall we? They look really, really pretty. I really like the models here. Uh, we can go in first person view as well. So as you can see, but once we are getting called up, you can see it in better action and that's pretty cool. You can see how the driving goes. I haven't drove myself yet, I've been a passenger so far, but it's cool. Anyway, the license plates are not the corresponding numbers. You would think that's the number you are assigned to, but no, it's not. I don't know why not. Ah, there we go. Small conflagration. I have no idea what that is, but we are being sent with a water tender, so I can choose the squad leader, coordinates mission resources and firefighting at the scene, or I can be the machine operator. Well, let's go for the squad leader. Achtung, Brandschutz. Kleinflächenbrand. Einsatz für TLF 2. And here it gets confusing. So he runs to that car, meaning that is the car we need to take. But I never know why exactly. So we're in the car now. Look at how pretty. There's an interior, like I said, first person. But look at the car, how it behaves. The uh, it's just beautiful, really beautiful. Look at it, you can actually see the weight in the vehicle, that it's not just a loose object like in the other simulators. Now keep in mind, they don't have the budget of a AAA studio, so there are things you're gonna see that could use some polish some box here and there but I think it's great also keep in mind that every building you see here is uh, a scene so 
Okay. Let's start the mission. Let's get out. So seeing I'm the squad lead, I'm gonna try and call in that we are at the scene. Oh, I had to say, and we're at sea. Now we're gonna say we are at the scene. Wait for furniture, so we're gonna go here. Okay, so we need to get a host from the car. Let's get it. Go, go, go. There we go. And we took out the fire. Mission takes approximately 30 minutes. Well, buddy, I'm already done. I don't know what you're gonna do here, but we are done, you know? It's not like we're gonna... do anything else. So, yeah. We're gonna return this stuff to the, the car. Sometimes it's better to be in first person like this. But I think both are pretty cool. Oh, we're gonna pack it up. And we're gonna get the hell out of here. Still having my rebreather on and everything, but who cares? I'm a fireman. There we go. The sound is really pretty too. Yeah, this is one of the simulators, I would say, really nailed it. Could use some extra work, but it really deserves the title of simulator in its name. And we can't say that about a lot of games these days, that call themselves a simulator. Now we have to obey the traffic laws, so as you can see, it's a red light. We don't have an emergency, so we have to wait, just like everyone else, sadly. Sorry for that. But yeah, when you go inside the sound is very different, too bad about the mirrors, but other than that I think it's pretty cool. And press B. I'm not sure how that works yet. I really should do uh, some proper research, I guess. Or maybe you level up, I have no idea how that works in this game. I hope not. I kinda like it that you just get missions assigned to you. I wasn't a fan of that in the other firefighter simulators that you had to level up. Oh, come on, drive already. Some people wanna go home. But there is a lot of detail in the, the trucks, and that's pretty cool. And when, when, when you get a bigger co-op, it looks really amazing with all these firefighters doing their jobs, and you're not being alone out there. If you hold your mouse still, it will jump back to the center again, so... Well, after a few seconds, so I can release, and then after three or four seconds, it jumps back. So here we are, back at base again. He's gonna do. Uh, he's gonna. Okay. Let's see, he's gonna park it in backwards, and that looks pretty cool. Go out. Whoa! Did you see those tires spin? And there we are. Great job, buddy. We nailed it. Okay. Yeah, there isn't much to do in the firehouse, as far as I know. You can walk around a little bit, explore, but don't think there is any interaction. However, there is a training ground, and you can 
pick up a few uh, subjects to train on, like uh, how to control fire. It's more like a tutorial, and I will do a separate video about it because it could be a bit uh, confusing for new players. I got stuck at some point and I didn't know what to do until I figured it out by just trying stuff. So I will do that soon. And we can go in there. But yeah, now we're gonna wait for the next call. Wish you could play some soccer here or football. I should say football because I'm Dutch. Are we able to? Ah, too bad. So, yeah, now the waiting game begins again. Can have a look on the roof. Yeah, every building you see here could be a potential uh, scenario. From what I heard, it's that the uh, interior is all randomly generated. So when you go to a call, then there's random stuff in there to keep it fresh, you know. But don't quote me on it. I only heard it from another YouTuber, uh, Northern Alex. He did a few of the videos here because he had early access, I believe. Oh, there we go, truck fire. Now that's something awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be in tech squad crew. Yeah, this is a bit weird. I was not standing there, but okay. We're just gonna follow everyone here. LF24, TLF1, RTV1. Don't expect the uh, voiceovers to become English, but there are some. Uh, some minor errors in this uh, game, translation errors. Uh, I believe this is my truck. Yeah, it is. So all the guys are in, and if you look, the other trucks will follow. We just squeezed in there, so that's the AI. So I'm not driving right now, that's all the AI is doing. They are driving. Apparently, you I was about to say, apparently, you only use your horns and. Whoa, fire! Yeah, the police is like, I'm out of here, boy. Oh, he pushed. Ah, because the command vehicle was there already. As you can see, the fire is not the, the greatest thing to watch, but it serves a purpose. Okay, we're waiting for the ambulance. Once everyone is here, we can press start. Oh, start, start. We can press enter and commence the operation. So let's get out. We're gonna wait for instructions. The commander in charge is gonna have a look. Give me an expense phone to from the fire compartment. Okay. We're gonna pull out the device compartment and then we're gonna grab. Okay, now I have to wait for instructions from the commander. See, the AI is doing their job. They're moving onwards, they're connecting stuff. It's pretty immersive and I really, really love this game. It looks amazing. See how it goes to... It's just amazing! Tell me this doesn't look better than any other fire simulator you have seen on Steam so far. It doesn't look better than most simulators you have seen on, on Steam and stuff. They needed a year extra, well I can see why. And I'm very glad they did, because this looks amazing. Really have to give it to the developers, they did an amazing job. I was really worried it was gonna suck. I played the demo 
and it wasn't that great to be honest but this this is just wow the sea host I guess it's over here so we're gonna walk up okay extinguish fire so we're gonna sit down first person view and foam it up so there we go foam, foam, foam. There we go. the fire is really responding to what I'm doing so that is really really awesome you really have to do do your job properly And when we are done, it's not magically done. Okay, so we go here. Do you attach? Okay. Remove sea house. Sea house and guns. I guess that there is a sea house, right? Like this. Well, the guys are packing up the stuff, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, bugs like these, they still happen, but who cares? I mean, they did a really amazing job. I guess we just pick it up anyway. Uh, where was it again? It's on this side? No, the other side, I believe. Yeah. Maybe I done something wrong, cause... Like I said, there are some bugs in this game and it dropped sea house and underground. I did not do that, so... I'm not entirely sure what I've done wrong. Oh, I think I have to put it away here. Oh boy! This is not going well. I'm sorry, I'm confused. Uh, I did everything they told me to. There are some translation errors, so it could very well be that it's not translating incorrectly what I'm supposed to do. That's the sea house carrying basket. B house. Okay, so. There must be a C house somewhere. B house. B house. B house. So you can pretty much open everything up. There's all these little compartments and stuff. That's really, really cool. See, these are minor things that kinda ruin it at times. I think. My fellow, I'm just gonna try this. See what happens. He's picking it up and he's carrying it away, but... <laughs> there is something inside here. Oh! 
Well, I'll be damned. I'm such an idiot. Okay. <laughs> See, it wasn't a bug, it was just my own stupidity. I did it wrong. Okay. Floor, drop it. Ah, okay, now we have to. Is this the end? Okay, let's just bring it over to the case over here. I'm still learning this game, people, sorry. So let's get away. But it's it's good that it's happening, so you can all learn from this as well and don't make the same mistakes as I do. Okay, let's see. Put down, see how it's at. Now it's getting really confusing, so it wants me to... Okay, now, now I'm getting really frustrated, because it told me to put it on the ground, I did. There. I still have that foam thingy. Let's get that one. Let's just take it step by step, so... This was here. This was connected to there. And I would say... That. Two down. Could you just stand there? Help me around, please. Let's see what happens if we just move to another. Okay, they, they are running. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he doesn't know either. Okay, so this is a little bug. Um, I hope the developers will fix that. Um, but please, people, um, give this game a try if you're really into firefighting. It's really cool. Uh, I'm gonna upload another video soon. Maybe today even, so... Uh, hopefully there... Things will be a bit better. But this is my manius attempt. The first few attempts were... Uh, not working properly due to me having a new screen, and that's a wide screen, and it doesn't record very well. But Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time here at Your Gaming. And please give a like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time here at Your Gaming. Bye bye.